you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today I'm going to be going over a market talk. I haven't done one of these in probably like a week and a half, honestly. I feel like I don't remember the last time I really did one of these. Although, with all the videos I make, I kind of lose track of when things and when I do certain things, obviously, with like three to two videos a day. Over the course of weeks, like 20 of them, so it might feel like a while ago for me, but it could just be a few days ago. Kind of not honestly tell you guys, but you guys know better than me when it comes to what I post, considering you guys are the ones watching it. I'm just pumping it out as soon as I can. But guys, today I'm going to be coming with you guys with the series to update what to do and what to expect. I'll be dropping that probably around 3.30 Eastern time, around that time, so you guys can get up to date with that, because I believe it does come out tomorrow, so you guys want to be doing exactly what I'm saying in that video. At least try to take my advice, or at least base an opinion off of it. But for now, we got the market talk on heavyweight to 1030, and then we got the series two update video. So that's my schedule for today. So stay tuned for all that. Make sure to go down below, hit the subscribe button, boys. We hit 8K. Thank you guys so much for all the support. I couldn't thank you guys enough for all that. Make sure to go turn on that notification bell to get notified for that series two update video later. And make sure to go like the video, guys. Let's get this video to 150 likes. Now let's get into this. So you guys know how I like to run this video over on the auction block. Let's go one by one. Now I don't know if now's the time to buy. I'll go over that all in this video. I kind of have some decent advice for you guys for at least later in the week when things certain things come out so the 80s are about 12k they're stagnant they haven't moved too much maybe the team of the weeks if you filter them out will probably be a little bit cheaper potentially because they just came out now the 81s are going for 14k so the 81s are a little bit elevated right now obviously if you filter them i understand you guys like to comment that i know if you filter but this is just like the base what most people see so obviously everything's kind of base 81s are a little bit up market market's a little high right now but I have some pretty good advice, so stay tuned later in the video for that. I have some theories that are the things that are coming out that should elevate things some more, and some good advice for that. So now the 82s are about 18k. Again, a little elevated. We saw these guys coming out like 16, 17k a week or two ago when Michael Vick first dropped. Obviously, it all depends on what drops in the game. Bigger drops, more hype, really just affects the market tremendously. The 83s are at about 23k. There goes my controller. Like typical, always, always dying on me. I gotta charge it after this video. Now, 84 to 85s. The 84s are going for 33k. So they're around stagnant too. I mean, we've seen these cards for as low as 28 to 30k. So obviously, I wouldn't recommend buying these for training or just buying them at all. Unless you're building the team, then I guess it is whatever. But when it comes to just playing the market, would not recommend the 84s right now. Now, if we go on down to the 85s, let's see where they're, let's see where they're standing at right now. I hate, I hate looking for the 85s. Are we so far down? I see a 49k right there. I see 48k, 48k. So you could probably find these guys for about 46k total. Now again, a little high considering what I've seen this market out when Vic dropped. I definitely wait for the Mutt 10 player to drop before you end up buying anything. But again, like I said, I have some things to say regarding the market towards the end of this video. Now the 86s, right? The 86s are at 68k. These guys been moving around a lot. So I've seen these for as low as 58k and 60k. And now they're at 70k, 68k. So I definitely recommend waiting on the most part. Now guys, the way I see it right now is exactly what you see on my coin count. I think it's time to start building a coin stack. I've been telling you guys this in multiple videos. I think we're at that point in Madden where most of our best teams are being phased out by the newer drops. So instead of just picking up those brand new drops and killing a bunch of your coins, I think it's time we start just selling off pieces. Not yet. I'll get to that later. But it's time to start selling off pieces and then slowly making a big coin stack and then waiting for Mutt Heroes to drop or the next big promo. And then we go all in on our teams because... Like I've been saying, I got I have guys like Marcus Allen, like DeAndre Hopkins, and a lot of guys. Well, obviously Hopkins had an upgrade, but he was my 89. I had the uh, the Nat one that I had powered up. So that one with Marcus Allen, some of the linemen I got, some tight ends I got, all that stuff. Those cards were the best a few weeks ago, or at least competable a few weeks ago. Now with all these new kickoff things dropping and stuff, they've kind of been phased out a little bit. Some legends, but I don't recommend picking up those newest cards because they're only like a plus one overall. I like to, when I revamp my team, I like to revamp a few overalls higher. I don't like to just revamp every overall. Because if you revamp every overall, you're going to be losing a lot of coins in reduction, a lot of coins in value drops. I highly recommend you just wait until the next big drop and you take advantage of that. So I want to build my coin stack now. And then I want to wait until the next big drops, which I'll tell you guys what that will be. Now coming over to the 87 overalls. Let's see, they're typically going for around like 80k. Oh, they're actually kind of up right now if it looks right. 93k. So yeah, I've seen these guys for like 75, 80. I mean, obviously the market's highly elevated right now, which is why I'm saying it's time to sell, but I think I would still wait just a little bit longer. Let's see, we got the 88 overalls going for 129k. 
We've seen these guys for 99k. I'm telling you, I've seen these flashbacks for I've sh I've shown it in videos. They're crazy elevated right now, guys. I don't know if I'd recommend buying anything right now, which is like oh 118 right there. But again, that's not even a snipe because the, I've seen these way lower than that. Now these 89s I've seen for yeah 166. I've seen them for even 145 at a point. Obviously, I'd be waiting on all of these. Training is at an all-time low considering what we saw about a week ago. I don't really recommend much in this game right now as a purchase. We've seen Mark Salon for 150. We've seen Khalil Mack for 160. We've seen a lot of these guys are way cheaper than we're looking at them now. Um, obviously, Team of the Weeks and Team Diamonds are a little bit different because they are not exactly cards that are coming out of packs every single every single week. So they will not be exactly changed in price the way you think. Same with much superstars. The, the ships kind of sailed on them as cards that come consistently out in the game. So you won't be seeing their prices change too much with specific drops in this game. Now, as we go over to the 90s, guys, the 90s are looking like they're going for about, let's see, 240K. So the 90s, typically the lowest ones always stay at about 240K. Now, Jerry Rice specifically is probably the lowest because Terrell Owens just recently came out, which was a really awesome card, so probably killed Jerry Rice's value a little bit. But guys, some of the advice I had to say before that I was, I was hinting at is that this week we do have double solo battles rewards. So what that means is that we're going to be getting like two to 400K, depending on what rank you place, if you place at least high enough, two to 400K worth of coins just for playing solo battles. And if you guys remember anything from what happened last year, last year they did a double solo battles week. When they did that, the market skyrocketed up because just like anything in life, right? If there's 10 iPhones, there's 10 iPhones and there's 20 people in the room and no one has $1,000 for the iPhone. The iPhone's price will probably start coming down because people can't afford it. But if everyone has $400,000 and they're all rich, everyone's fighting for those iPhones. So the prices go up. So same thing with cards. There's a few Jerry Rice here, whatever. But when everyone gets their 400, 300, 200K, whatever, people are going to have a lot of extra coins. They're going to be like, I want to go buy a cool car with that. So they're going to go buy these Rices. They're probably going to clear all these lanes. Before you know it, these 90s are probably going for like 290 flat. Not, not for a long term, just when it drops. So that's why when the rewards for solo battles drop and weekend league rewards drop and series two update drops and all that stuff, I just recommend being on top of the market. Specifically, like I said, when the solo battles rewards drop, like right when that happens, I'll probably go sit on the market and start refreshing and seeing how prices are going up and then I'll probably sell my team accordingly. I have not sold everything. I've sold just a few things that were up anyways. Like I sold Alan Page for like 350. I bought it for 275 when Vic came out, like when the, when the whole legend drop happened. So in my opinion, I took my 70k and I went home. I took I took my extra coins, and obviously after reduction I got a little bit less, but I think it was worth it for me. I sold Willie Brown for like 350 also. Again, a card that I got for like 305. So I didn't really see the issue with just taking my coins and going, specifically because I'm building a coin stack so I can work the market. And then of course when Series 2 comes out, I want to be on top of building a brand new team around the new Mud Heroes because I am waiting for guys like Saquon Barkley, Ezekiel Elliott, and those guys to get cards so that I can go upgrade my running back position. Like I said, I think we're going to get a new influx of cards with as much heroes, like I've been saying, is going to drop 32 cards, most likely, of the best players at each position. So in theory, if they drop 32 players who are going to be the best almost at their position, almost all other position cards will come down, as you can see with Jerry Rice and every other card. When a brand new card comes out of that position, the other cards in that position come down because people are going for the new one. So when they drop guys like Saquon, they already dropped the Rodgers, they drop a bunch of cards in these Mutt Heroes promo and a bunch of new cards, cards are going to start coming down. But that won't happen until after the solo battles rewards because obviously Mud Heroes is like a, two weeks away at minimum. So in my opinion, wait for the solo battle rewards, take your coins, go build a massive coin stack, and then when Mutt Heroes drops and the market comes down, then you can go buy your old cards back if you really wanted to because they'll be much less priced than they were before. Now let's come down to the 91s so we can go finish out this video. The 91s look like they're going for about 510k. Yeah, I mean, again, that's why I said I wouldn't touch guys like Gale Sayers, and some of these legends and kickoff players, they're too expensive. It's just, uh, you can't, again, Gale Sayers, right? A guy that go, has 90 speed, probably the best running back in the game my, that's not living in time like Bo Jackson. So, would I rather have my Marcus Allen for, a, like if I sold Marcus Allen for 150K, right? After reduction, that's what I probably end up getting. I get 150K back on him. I lose all that training, like 150K of training that I spent on him. I get half it back. So I end up with like 240K with training and coins. I go buy Gale Sayers for 500K. Now, to make him better than Mark Sound, he's going to need to build his, like, evasive. So, then I cam him up. So, now I'm out, like, 650k minus, and I have to power him up. So, I'm out, like, maybe 700k when I all said and done powering him up. Now, I have to subtract what I got back from Allen. So, you, you, you think I get, it's about 500k to power him up and everything. And then a new Saquon Barkley or Ezekiel Elliott comes out, and they're better than this Gale Sayers. Now, this Gale Sayers value is only being held up by being one of the best running backs. Once he gets out, and there's new running backs, you'll probably end up being, like, 250 
to 400k somewhere between that range so, or not even i think it'll be in the 300 range so now i'm out 200k uh, okay. then i'm gonna have to sell him lose the 200k then lose all the training unpower him back up and then get the sake one that's like a million coins lost in reduction training and re revamping your team that is why i prefer to skip over this layer of cards i like to buy a team skip over the next wave a few cards and then buy that third wave let's just say that's how i like to run building my team guys but that is about it for the video i hope this advice does help you guys thank you so much for watching i hope you guys did enjoy if you guys haven't already make sure to hit, hit the like button boys look at this video to 150 likes make sure to turn on that noti bell for that team of the week not team of the week series to update later and make sure to turn on that subscribe button boys let's start grinding to 9k thank you so much for watching enjoy the rest of your day i'm out See you guys in the next video. Peace.